Hi there, welcome. In this video, we're going to talk about the mean, median, and mode of a data set. When you have a set of data, you're going to have a lot of different numbers. What does it tell you? That's where the mean, median, and mode come in. The mean, median, and mode is mostly common use to measure the central tendency, where the approximate center is. We'll start by defining the mean. The mean is the same as the average, which is equal to the sum of all the data points that you have divided by the number of values. The median is the middle value. In order to find the middle value, you put all the values in consecutive order and then find the middle value. And mode, mode is actually the easiest. This is the value that shows up the most frequently. Let's go through these examples. I've numbered them in order of difficulty. The first one is the most straightforward. Example number two and three is a little bit harder. Let's start with the first one. The mean, that's going to equal to the sum of all the values divided by how many values we have. We have one, two, three, four, five. And divide this by five. The mean, once again, is essentially the average. It is the sum of all the values divided by the number of values. Add up everything in the numerator to so go to 44 and divide by five. This gives us 8.8. .8. The median, Remember, we need to make sure that the numbers are consecutive, in consecutive order. And the first one is already in consecutive order for us, so we don't need to do anything additional. Now we have two here and two here. And so our median is just the middle number, which is 11. And finally, our mode. The mode is the most frequent value. Our example in our data set, we have two occurred once, five occurred once, 11 occurred twice, and 15 occurs once. So our mode is 11 because it occurs more time than any of the other values. Example two, our mean once again is the sum of the numbers divided by there are six numbers. When we add up all the numbers in the numerator, we get 72 divided by six. This is equal to 12. So our mean is 12. Our median, now this data was not as helpful. The numbers are not in consecutive order. We have three followed by seven by three again, um, and then there's another seven. The first thing we need to do is put the numbers in consecutive order. Yeah, three, three, seven, seven, 20, and 32. Now we need to find the middle number. We have three and three, and so we're left with two numbers in the middle. They're both seven, but if they were not seven, to get the median, what we need to do is take the sum of the numbers and divide it by two. <clears throat> Basically, we take the average of the two middle numbers. And if you'll notice that when there's an even number of values, you'll have two numbers in the middle, and you'll need to take the average of the two numbers. These Two numbers are the same, so the average is going to be the same. When we have an odd number of value, like the first example, there were five numbers here, the median is just going to be one number. So our median in this case is seven. And then our mode, the most frequent number, three occurs twice. Seven also occurs twice. The rest of the number occur one time. So our mode is both three and seven. Our mode is three and seven, since they occurred 
two times, and you can have multiple modes. Example three. Our mean, once again, is the average. I'm going to take all the numbers and add them up together. And we're going to divide this by six, because once again, we have six values. One, two, three, four, five, six. The sum of the numerator is equal to 66 divided by six, and we get the mean is 11. The median, this data set wasn't as helpful as the first one. The numbers are not in consecutive order. So we need to first put them in consecutive order. Now that they're in consecutive order, we can find the median. Because we have six values, and six is an even number, we will have two middle numbers. We need to find the average of the two middle numbers in order to get the median. 10 plus 12 divided by 2. 22 divided by 2 is equal to 11. So our median is 11. Now, our mode, if we look at these numbers, everything occurs one time. 2, 3 occurs one time, as are the other values. In this case, we have no mode. And some data set will have no mode. And that's it for our example. I hope you understand how to find the mean, median, and mode for a data set. There are a couple of things I want to highlight. When you're looking for the median, just remember when there are an odd number of values, like the first example, this five, you have one middle value, and that is going to be your median. In the case where there are even number of values, like this one, there will be two middle values. And to find the median, you need to take the average of the two middle values. The mode, you can have no mode, or you can have one mode, or you can have multiple modes. Statistics has many real-world applications that applies to everyone. If you live in the United States, I'm sure you've heard that the median housing prices have gone up significantly in the last few years, or the average housing prices have gone up significantly in the last few years. And now you know where these numbers come from. And I hope this helps you understand what mean, median, and mode is, and how to find the values for different kinds of data set. If you enjoyed this video, or if you found it helpful, please add a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you next time.